Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with the AntConc Corpus Analysis Toolkit. So I'll first show you how you can launch the software, and then I'll show you some of the basic interface design features, and then I'll show you how you can load a corpus into the software, and then at the end, I'll show you how to uh, do some simple analyses of your texts. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so if you download Anconc from the uh, Anconc website, you'll get something that looks like this. This is a single file executable um, that you just double click to start. <clears throat> now, the, uh, the Anconc software runs on Windows, Linux, and Macintosh. And on each system, the icon might look a little different, but basically it's the same. So if you double click on Anconc, uh, it will open up and looks something like this. So here's the main display of Anconc. And you can see here that when you first uh, open Anconc, there aren't any data files in the program. Uh, it's just a blank screen initially. So here on the left, you can see where the target corpus will appear when you load in data later. And on the right, you can see various tabs that show some of the tools that Anconc has available. So the quick tool is the keyword in con uh, context tool or quick concordancer. Then we have a dispersion plot tool, a file tool, clusters, ngram, collocate, word, and keyword. Now each of these tools has a slightly different interface, and which it appears at the bottom here. Uh, and I'll explain, explain those in different videos. But here, let's just get started by loading in a corpus and seeing what that looks like. So how do we load in a corpus? Well, the first thing to do is go to File. And if you click on File, you'll see different options. And the first option here is Open Corpus Manager. And that's where we will load in the corpora. And there's also a shortcut Control plus O that you can use to access this quickly. So if I click on this, you'll see a new window open. Let me just expand that. And this is the Corpus Manager. Now here, again, we, you can see a few tabs. We have the a tab for the target corpus and also another tab for a reference corpus if you want to load in uh, a corpus to compare against your target corpus. And I'll explain that in another video. Here, though, we can load in a target corpus. Now, there are various options to here. Uh, if you look at this uh, Corpus Creator panel, you'll see a, a series of steps that you can follow. Now, the easiest way to load in a corpus is to use one, a pre-built corpus that is embedded into the Antconc software. So this is the, this is pre, the, the pre-built option here. So choose the type of corpus files. And if we choose pre-built here, you can see on the right, Antconc comes with a variety of pre-built corpora. And here you can see the AMIO6 uh, general English corpus of uh, about a million words of English. And it's also got some of the sub corpora from the AMIO6 in the Ancong software as well. For example, press, uh, skills and hobbies, and the learned sub corpus, which is academic English. So if we click on one of these, uh, double click on one of these, and uh, we can see the name of the subcorpus, we can see the number of files in it. Here we have 80 files and the number of tokens, which is 161,560 tokens, a little bit of a description of that subcorpus. And of course, we can go down and pick other ones, for example, humor. I can double click on this and we can see again, we have nine files here with 18,000 words, or I can click uh, on one of these and just click the choose button. And again, it will load that corpus into the software. So that's the easiest way to use a corpus, uh, to use one of the pre-built ones in the software. So let's stay with this corpus and click OK. And now we're ready to start analyzing the language of this corpus. So to finish this introduction, let me just show you what kind of things we can do once we've loaded in a corpus like this. So uh, as you can see here, 80 files with 161,603 tokens in it. So the first thing 
we can do is just click on one of these files and see the raw file in this in the interface here and it's a plain text file um, from the uh, learned section of the Amio 6 corpus, um, which is academic English. And uh, when I clicked on one of these files, you'll see that at the top of the screen, the software automatically jumped to the file option, the file tab here, so that we can see those files. And in those files, we of course, we can search for words, like the word the, and then we can go through and we see there's 160 hits here, and then we can go through and look at each of those if we're interested. But corpus linguists often don't look at individual files like that, and they prefer to analyze the entire corpus directly. So if we do that and click the, then we can see that we could, here in the quick display, the keyword in context display, we can see all of the hits for the. Uh, we have here 103,074, uh, sorry, 10,374 hits. And here we can see the first 10 of those, and we can go through and paste through the others if we want as well. And this is what a lot of researchers will use to do corpus analysis. Uh, we can also just quickly generate a, a frequency list of all the words in this corpus, like this. And you can see that the is the most frequent word with a frequency of 10,374, and it appears with a range of 80, which means it appears in all 80 files. So that's how to get started with Anconc. Thank <music> you.